Okay, so we'll get started with the bedroom setup. Again, just to go over things that may be in a bedroom that could be used um, for drug use or to hide uh, potential drug use, okay? So again, things that are in a bedroom, okay? Something as simple as tennis balls, which definitely would not be out of place. All you need is a razor blade. Just give it a little slit, and now there's a nice little storage container. Whether this is kept in the bedroom or in the garage with all the other athletic equipment. Things that are readily available on the internet. Okay, just looks like a little ceramic dinosaur, but this is actually a pipe for smoking. You turn it upside down, you have the little bowl where you put the marijuana and then inhale through the tail. I also have another one here, a little glass scorpion. Okay, again, you put the marijuana in the top and inhale through the back. Very um, elaborate types of pipes that can be purchased on the internet. If you see things in a bedroom that you're not familiar with, pick it up and look at it. Okay, this item, plastic, two pieces, has all little spikes throughout. It's a grinder. So if somebody has uh, chunks of marijuana that are too big to roll, just put it in there, close it and twist. It grinds it down into manageable little pieces. Something like this stereo speaker, which a lot of people have in their bedrooms. You just pop the cover off, okay, and inside, we have two packets of synthetic marijuana, okay, commonly referred to as K2 or Spice. But again, very convenient hiding spot. This just pops up right on and right off. Things that you can purchase online or in places like Spencer Gifts look like legitimate products, but in this case, the shaving cream, the bottom twists off, or the Coke can, the top twists off. Okay, very convenient to hide things in there. Again, you, you stick this under the, their bathroom sink, um, why would you think twice to look at it differently? Something as simple as a baseball cap, right? How many of our kids have baseball caps? The one thing pretty much all baseball caps have is this sweatband on the inside. You fold it down, and here we have a single packet of heroin. It's very conveniently behind the sweatband. Okay, you can put pills back there, little baggies of marijuana. There are even hats that can be purchased online that have hidden um, pockets in them. And then something that we really we wouldn't look twice at, novels, books. All those, again, somebody needs is a razor blade. Open up to the middle section and cut out the middle section of some pages. Makes a nice little pocket. Here we have some packets of heroin. We have some rolling papers, straw for snorting. Okay, and when it's closed, there's no indication that there's anything stuck inside. Okay, so if someone's not aware, this is a great, great hiding spot. Something pretty obvious. Okay, a, a glass marijuana pipe. Again, it can be purchased online, no age restriction. Somebody might not just leave it lying out on the um, bureau like that, but it could be hidden away in a closet. And again, if parents aren't, the kids know the parents aren't coming into the bedroom to look around, they may leave it up in the closet to, for easy access. Again, a couple other types of little pipes. Okay, Hello Kitty, um, just a, a different glass design. The website I got these from, all different types of cartoon characters. Okay, if, if you don't pay attention, you may see this and just think it's some type of glass ornament. Something as simple as sunglasses. We know our kids the best. If all of a sudden your son or daughter starts wearing sunglasses in the house for no reason, it may not be anything, but a couple questions should be asked. Maybe it's to hide redness in the eyes if they've been smoking something. Okay, again, something as simple as sunglasses. So don't be afraid to ask some questions. Something like a photo frame or a poster frame that might be hanging on the wall. The back of those pop off very easily. Okay, you saw how thin that packet of heroin was that was hidden in the baseball cap. Very easy to hide those um, behind the backing of a photo frame or a poster frame. Okay, so again, don't be afraid every now and again to pick things up, look at them, and take them apart. After all, it's your house, right? Here we have another type of storage container, which looks just like a um, tube of sunscreen. 
but this is actually sold to hide alcohol. Okay, it comes empty and you pour the alcohol in, comes with a little funnel. So if your son or daughter is going to an outdoor concert or something where they know their bags may be searched going in, this would be a perfect hiding place. Scented candles. Okay, I'm not a big fan of my kids having candles in the room just because of the safety factor. But scented candles to potentially mask the odor of something if say they were smoking something. Okay, again, doesn't mean that's what they're doing, but a couple questions should be asked. Like, looks just like a regular highlighter, but this is actually a marijuana pipe. Okay, the back pulls out of it. And here you have a metal pipe. You put the marijuana in there and obviously you inhale through the end. But if this is in a cup with pens and pencils or in their drawer with their other supplies and you see it, you may not pay any attention to it, okay? But the giveaway is the gold backing on it. Looks a little different than regular highlighters. This can of compressed air, which can be purchased to blow the dust off of your computers. Again, no big deal having this, but some people do inhale it because the propellant takes away the oxygen in their system, gets, gets them that high feeling. So again, not a big deal having it, but if you start finding a lot of these empty, there might be something going on. Just another type of storage container, looks like a regular bottle that you can buy, except this one, the bottom twists off. So you have a nice storage area, and there is a false bottom about halfway down, so somebody can put liquid in. Vaping, huge problem amongst teens. Going out to schools over the last couple years, um, principals say this is their number one issue. Um, not just the problem associated with nicotine, but a lot of these now, uh, marijuana oil is being used. And with the, the high temperature that this vaporizes, it virtually eliminates the, that skunky marijuana smell. So it could be very difficult to detect. Something as simple as a tin of breath mints, very easy place to hide pills because they blend right in with the breath mints. Okay, again, you see breath mints, I don't want you to panic, but again, something that you may just want to look at every now and again. This bottle of water that you can purchase, okay, has water in it, but give it a twist, and now you have a storage container. Okay, looks just like the real thing. Again, can be purchased online, no age restriction. Any type of large container, Okay, it doesn't really matter what the particular product is, it's more the size. Makes it very convenient and easy to hide something. Here we have a bag of marijuana hidden in here. Okay, if it's a legitimate product, um, that wouldn't be out of place. Again, very, very convenient hiding place. Don't forget to look in the drawers if you're looking around their bedroom. Okay, anything that gives any type of indication uh, of drug use, drug paraphernalia, Definitely ask some questions. Doesn't mean that this is what they're doing, but definitely worth getting that conversation started, okay? Could just be something they saw in Spencer Gifts and thought it looked good. Something else that can be purchased? Okay, this sweatshirt? Okay, but this is sold specifically for vaping, believe it or not, okay? The vaping device attaches to the end. Okay, the, the, the cord runs all the way through the hood and the other end is what somebody would inhale on. Okay, um, $59.99 online, again, no age restriction. Even comes with a bottle opener and this little pocket here is for holding a bottle of beer. Okay, the bed, very easy to hide things under the bed between the mattress and box spring, between the sheets and the mattress, uh, inside the pillowcase, Okay, another packet of uh, synthetic drugs. Stuffed animals, how many of our older teen teenagers still have stuffed animals in their room? All you have to do is undo a little bit of the stitching in the back, little packet of marijuana there. Okay, perfect, perfect hiding place. Shoes, another good hiding place. Stick something inside or even pull, pull the sole of the shoe out give it a little shake, and again, here we have a couple little baggies of marijuana. Very, very easy to hide it in there. 
Okay, so don't forget about the shoes and sneakers when you're looking. Don't forget the garbage can, right? How great is it to come into your kid's room and find everything in the garbage can? But don't be afraid to look in there every now and again. Here we just have a regular brown lunch bag, but this has spray paint residue on the inside. What some people do is they'll spray spray paint in there, cover their mouth and nose, and inhale. Okay, breathing in the paint fumes. Again, it gives them that high feeling. Okay, so if you find bags with spray paint, something's going on. If somebody doesn't have one of those fancy glass pipes, all you need is an empty aluminum can. Just press a little flat area on it, get the tip of a pen or pencil, make a few holes, put the loose marijuana on top, use your lighter, and just inhale through the, through the regular opening. Okay, now you have a homemade pipe. Finding empty bottles of over-the-counter cough medicine, okay, referred to as robo-tripping. People will drink bottles at a time. If you start finding empty bottles and you know your son or daughter doesn't have a cough or, or aren't sick, start asking questions on why you're finding these bottles, okay? Uh, finding empty cans of whipped cream, okay, referred to as whippets, where you hold the can upright, squeeze the nozzle so only the propellant comes out, and again, inhaling that. Again, the propellant takes the place of oxygen in the system, making them feel lightheaded and high. Backpacks, again, going back to large containers. All the pockets and zippers that this has, very convenient hiding place. Here we have a bottle of prescription pills. Um, again, you can hide anything in these, okay? Some people even on the inside of the strap will get a razor blade and make a little slit and hide things on the inside of the strap so that it's very, again, very difficult to detect. Here we have mouthwash and hand sanitizer, okay? The hand sanitizer, 70% ethyl alcohol. This mouthwash, 21.6% alcohol. Somebody who has a major drinking problem and doesn't have access to alcohol will drink these, okay? Again, these are legit products, so don't panic when you see them um, in your kid's room, obviously in the bathroom. But if you start noticing empties very quickly, something might be going on and deserves a little more looking into. Another container, a can of hairspray. Okay, looks like just a regular can of hairspray, but again, just give a little twist and now you have that storage space there. Whether for a girl, she keeps these types of products in her bedroom or in the bathroom, again, looks just exactly like the real thing. Again, looking uh, like the real thing here, just to show you, this is just a regular can of, of energy drink. And the only reason I show you this is just so you can notice how pretty much all energy drink cans are, where you have the, the colors, the shapes. Here, same thing, very similar, except this contains 12% alcohol. Okay, this is called Four Loco. This size can is four and three quarter servings. So if somebody drinks this whole can, they're well on their way to intoxication, okay? And what a typical can of beer is about 5%, this is 12. Okay, a, can, a little tube of Visine eye drops, okay? The advertising for Visine, it gets the red out. Again, no big deal having it, but if you notice your son or daughter using it a lot and they don't have allergies, just ask some questions. Could be from smoking marijuana and they're using this to get the redness out of their eyes, okay? Again, very similar to the energy drink. Here we just have a couple packets of Pop Rocks candy, okay? Um, but I show you this again, just look at the, the colors, the way the packaging is, okay? And then look at these. Here we have some additional packaging for the K2 or Spice synthetic marijuana. Okay, a quick look at these, think this is some type of lemon candy, okay? But you take a closer look at the package, it says aromatic potpourri, on the back it says lab certified legal. So even if you didn't know what this was, you know it's not some type of candy and definitely needs a little more exploration. 
something like a cigarette lighter, again, no big deal. If you know your son or daughter doesn't smoke cigarettes, hey, why do you have a lighter? Could be used because they might be smoking marijuana. Okay, here we have a tube of lipstick, but same thing as that highlighter. Pull it out and it's a little pipe. If this isn't a makeup bag with all the other makeup and lipstick, looking at it, you probably pass right over it thinking it's just a regular tube of lipstick. Spoons, okay, finding spoons in the bedroom or you find your missing spoons. Um, a lot of times people that are injecting heroin will use spoons. They'll put the heroin powder on, put some water, use a lighter underneath to heat it up and draw it into the syringe. And then a lot of times they'll use pieces of cotton. Once that liquefies, they'll put the cotton in and then draw the liquid up in the syringe through the cotton and that acts as a filter, okay? So something definitely to pay attention to. And then to finish up, again, we have a couple of hairbrushes here. Um, this one is sold as a storage container, but obviously can be used as a hairbrush. But you just give the end a little bit of a twist. You have this storage area here, okay? And then this one, this is a legitimate hairbrush. You can buy this at CVS or Rite Aid. But this particular type, the head slides off, you open it up, and here we have a packet of heroin, okay? Just keep in mind, if, if somebody is using especially a teenager, they're gonna go to extremes to make it difficult for us as parents to find it, okay? In their mind, it's gonna be, well, where would mom and dad look? Because that's not where I'm gonna put it, okay? So again, don't be afraid to go in the bedrooms and look around every now and again. Some parents don't wanna do that because they feel they're invading their child's privacy. The way I look at it, I have two kids. That's my house, those are my bedrooms. If I wanna go in and look around, I'm gonna do that with them there and when they're not there, okay? Um, so this is just a small sampling of what's available, okay? Just be aware, again, a lot of these items are sold on the internet, no age restriction. How many of our kids get Visa, American Express gift cards, can go online and order any of these items, ship to them as parents, probably not gonna know what it is that they're ordering, okay? So again, just keep an open mind to all this. I don't wanna scare everybody and say everybody is doing something, because obviously they're not. But every now and again, you drop the laundry off in the bedroom, take a look around, see what's there. If things don't make sense or they seem out of place, look into it. Sit your kids down every now and again and speak to them, okay? Thanks.